Welcome to Rainy ESPN's <laughs> Wide World of Sports here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Ben Ingram, Kevin McAlpin, bringing you 6 8 of the fans' coverage of Atlanta Braves Spring Training 2019, our final season in this facility. We'll start up a brand new year next year at the new place in Northport. But Kevin, here we are once again. A lot of guys already reporting yeah. here today. Uh, we've had the Braves clubhouse support today. We were able to visit with Walt Weiss, and we'll be visiting with Brian Snitker and Alex Antopoulos and several of the players over the course of the next several weeks. And the first game coming up in about a week and a half on February the 23rd when the Braves take on the Mets down in Port St. Lucie. But here we are. Yeah. We arrived yesterday, and good to see several, several of the players already here as well. A little rain hasn't stopped him either, Ben. It was a, really a nasty morning. As you can see, the tarp is still on the field here at Champion Stadium, but the guys are out. They're playing catch. There's a number of pitchers here already, even some position players getting some early work done as well. Something we see a lot over the last couple of years is guys getting here early, really chomping at the bit, and I think part of that is the youth. You know, you've got some of the younger guys, the Andersons, the Wentzes, the Mullers of the world that are in big league camp this year, so really excited to see how they fit in, how they mesh, and what kind of stuff they've got when they take the field here. Well, let's run through a quick checklist of things that we're going to be looking at over the next few weeks. Let's start with the pitching rotation. We both feel that there could be a, a move made at some point during spring training yeah. to add another veteran piece of that rotation, but that may not come until sometime in March. So between now and then, guys looking to be seen. We'll see what happens in the first four spots in the rotation, but it looks like that fifth spot in the rotation is going to be up to someone who doesn't have a ton of Major League experience. Yeah, I, mean, I think you feel pretty good about Fulte getting the ball on opening day. You feel good about Sean Newcomb, Kevin Gosman. So one through three, you feel pretty good about how things line up. Julio Tehran, is he your four? Is he your five? Is he part of the equation at all? We will see uh, how things play themselves out here. But certainly, it feels like there's going to be four or five guys competing for that fifth spot. Again, if all stays the way it is now. Now, you'll recall last season, Braves did go out and bring in Anibal Sanchez rather towards the end of spring training. And he ended up uh, being just a real nice surprise in that rotation. So. I don't think this roster is a, a, a finished uh, bunch by any means. I don't expect a lot of position player battles, but there's going to be some serious competition, not only in the starting rotation, but in that bullpen as well. well. Another thing that we'll be watching is where the Braves put Ronald Acuna in the lineup, and we expect him to be moving around a little bit. Yeah. We visited with Walt Weiss earlier today. We asked him about that, and that's exactly what he expressed to us. It's not just leadoff. It's not just cleanup. They want to move him around a little bit, see what he looks like, because when it comes to answering the question of where does Ronald Acuna bat, uh, that, that's a question that can't be answered until they start moving him around a little bit. And it's a good problem to have, too, right? I mean, the Braves haven't had this kind of, of you know question as far as the lineup goes the last couple of years. So, you know, do you hit him leadoff where he was so successful a year ago? Do you move him down, uh, have him try to protect Freddie Freeman? I think that's something you're going to see as the spring training uh, session goes on, and it'll start next Saturday in Port St. Lucie. Don't look at that lineup as your opening day lineup. There's going to be a lot of moving parts there. But look, if Ender and Ciarte, and Ender is really the big key for this whole thing, if Ender can put together six months, you know, and he's always been a slow starter, but if Ender can hit the ground running from day one, it certainly makes this decision a lot easier as far as where you put Ronald Acuna. So I'm a big fan of having him hit cleanup. I know there's a lot of folks that say, well, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave him where he was in, in the leadoff spot. So we'll, we'll see what they decide to do. But it won't surprise me at all if we see him hitting cleanup. All right, and finally, we'll keep an eye on these guys who are competing for spots in the Braves' bullpen. A lot of familiar faces yep. with the cast of the bullpen as well. Could you hear anything I said over there? No, PA I couldn't. Guy. It's getting a little bit lousy <laughs> testing the PA here. Yeah. But we will see some some familiar Pretty faces, big, yeah. obviously, in the Braves bullpen and, and guys who are looking to, to further the roles that they established last year. I think Darren O'Day is going to play a big part in that Braves bullpen as well. And towards the back end of the, of the uh, bullpen, it looks like the same guys who we saw at the end last year with, with Sabatka and Vizcaino and others. I'm a big fan of Sabatka. I really am. I think that he really was a nice addition towards the end of last season. Limited appearances, you know, but... But uh, he, he showed some really good stuff. Big thing for me, Ben, he threw strikes. You got to love that for a guy, a young arm, who really, you know, escalated himself through the minors very quickly. So I'm a big fan of Sabaka. I think Darren O'Day will be a, a huge addition as well. A guy that probably, uh, you know, some fans probably forgot about. He was even on the roster coming into 2019. So I'm excited to see how that competition plays out. Two names I'm really curious about. Max Freed, Luis Gohara. Where do those guys factor in? Are they in the rotation? Are they in the bullpen? Maybe both of them find roles in the back of the bullpen. All right, these are questions we'll see answered over the next several weeks. We'll keep you covered on 6.8thefan.com. Also, all the 6.8thefan uh, social media outlets, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. 
Graham will be there and bring you all the latest on your ball club here at spring training in Florida. Talk to you real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check, 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 check.